We ended the last video with the climax of the Mass, the miracle of the Eucharist. Now we will get into the third part of the liturgy of the Eucharist, preparing for communion. We acknowledge the miracle of the Eucharist as we say the mystery of faith, and acknowledge that Christ has died and that he will come again. At this point in the Mass, we say the great Amen, where we affirm our belief in Jesus Christ, who is now present. The word Amen means so be it, or it is true. Saint Augustine calls it the people's signature. It is said that the first Christians were so passionate when they said Amen, the walls shook. Before we receive the Eucharist, we pray the Our Father. The priest introduces the prayer given to us by Christ himself, saying, At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. In the petitions that make up the Our Father, we are praying that all obstacles be removed from our lives so that we might have perfect communion with God and with our brothers and sisters. We are about to take communion with Jesus. But we can't do that unless we are at peace with others. Matthew writes, First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. The sign of peace is meant to heal any conflict we have with other people. Even though we only greet those around us, it is intended as a wish of peace to people throughout the world. So we've seen how to get ready to receive communion and learned about the importance of preparation for this sacrament. Up next, Emma will take us through the communion rite and the Great Commission.